Oh wow, that's a large uh, piece of jasper there. Hmm. Anybody want to help me get this one out? trail going down to the beach here. It's a little bit narrow, a little bit steep in areas. That's what we're looking at. So you want to stay on the high parts and then I'll show you when we get down over there what's the easiest part to navigate. Alright, so now that I'm down at the bottom, time to look for some rock. As you can see, it's a lot of different stuff. It's more of those, uh, lots. So this is what you're looking at during the summertime. There's a whole lot here. And then around these rocks, there's a lot more. But during the winter, there's a whole lot more when you hit low tide. And so I'm gonna work my way over this way and then around that way. I don't know what that is, but it's crazy looking. A little sugar agate, pink. This is a crazy jasper. This one's crazy, look at that. A couple pieces of jasper there. Cool little marble. All right, so I'm back at Otter Point here. Uh, yesterday I had some technical difficulties. Yeah, had to come back here this morning, so back here and everything's looking good and we're gonna find something nice. So let's get down there, huh? Once again, we're at the rope trail part. Um, I don't really use it, but definitely if you don't have the surest footing, then I would recommend using it. But to be honest, I just try to stay within the gaps and if anything, you're gonna just fall over into some pretty thick brush you know it doesn't go that deep and so um, yeah it's more about the continuous tumble effect trail might be a little rough but look it's a pretty nice beach all right so yesterday uh, I explored much of this area here and chatted with pretty girl now I'm gonna go up that way and uh, try to wrap around to that part over there, which is where all the yum yums are. Off the bat, it looks like we got a piece of shell. That's kind of neat. Beach also offers pre split firewood for your convenience. Nice piece of quartz right here. It looks like it's got some, uh, maybe some jasper stripe in there. Okay, two things. Check this thing out. What is that, huh? I uh, actually probably shouldn't touch it. Then look at this sucker. That is a swirly guy if I ever seen it, huh? 
swirlies. Oh, look at that. That's got some green. Sweet. Look how bright that one is. That's a good one. Yeah, check that one out. The Jasper. Big old conglomerate. This is one that fell out previously. Massive crack in it. So I have seen agates in these big conglomerates. And so I'm wondering if like these erode and then that's how we find the beach agates. Well, one of the ways we find beach agates on this beach. What is that? Huh. Sweet. It's like quartz with maybe some of that epidote or peridote or whatever that green is. This rock is massive. Pretty big. Little pathway though. Also going to be looking for some driftwood today because I like to uh, take some of the specimens that I find after I've got them polished and uh, use the driftwood as a little display. It's pretty cool, it's really cheap, and if you're already here, right, might as well grab it. So, a big flat piece like this, typically, it's pretty neat depending on how it sits, because you can put all your display rocks, you know, plink, 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 plink. This one's kind of big, but it, you get the point. Check that honker out. That's a big old chunk of Jasper. Oh, check those out. Those are dinosaur plants. Those are real big ones too. You can see the core like right there. And the random stuff you see on the beach. Check that out. Is that not like a caveman club if you ever seen it? Mmm. Yes. Here's a cool piece that I found like that has a pretty good like uh, shape to it to where you know you could get it to sit as a display like that. You know, or however. Just one of those things. And this uh, scorching here <clears throat> gives it some character. A massive chunk of uh, jasper right there. Whoa. Yeah, that's huge. You can see the see the color right in there. Bet you that'd be pretty good if cut. Look at that. I wonder if that's like big calcite veins. I don't have my UV on me, but there's a huge one over here. Look at all this. That's sweet. This stick reminds me of like a derpy dragon. Coming around. This little creek out here has got a load of color in it. Looks like it's uh, iron stained. But the tide's rolling in quick, so I need to uh, boogie on down here, and then I'm gonna work my way all the way back. Some really nice sized cobbles in here. All right, so in these big cobbles here is where you're actually gonna find some big, big material. But uh, up here, I'm actually looking for some stuff more like this, this Jasper. This one right here, it's, it's big, it's like basketball. Reds and purples. Nice outer colors. A lot of those uh, quartz stripes. Oh, that just makes it worse. What do we have here?
There we go. That's a good one. These ones are so cool right here. Really good for something. Eventually I'll uh, show you how I use them, but not in this episode. It's this little hider. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. Got holes all over it. Awesome. This rock has a line in it. This rock also has a line in it. Just a different kind of line. And that is a pink one. Super pink. Well, what do we got going on here? I like this thing though. That's cool. Yeah, so this one's really cool, right? It's got some awesome, uh, unique features to it. Problem is, look how skinny that thing is. And if we cut it like this, it's not going to get it. Cut it like that, not going to get it. I mean, it will have something. You can kind of maybe do something like that. But how are you going to chuck it up and try to take slice off that? Well, you're going to try to cut it in half? Good luck, partner. So, unfortunately, nice to look at. And uh, I'll leave for the next person to look at. I like that. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That looks sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. There's a good looking piece of yellow jasper right there. Uh, okay, so I just found this one and I'm not really sure what these racing stripes are, but they're pretty cool. It looks like just a giant chunk of quartz, right? But he's got these cool stripes running through it. So I think I am gonna, gonna take this one and see potentially if I can do anything with those sweet racing stripes. Look at that red. Hey, what do we have? Yeah, I mean, that's a cool texture, but... Yeah. That one's cool. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh yeah, I like that. I have to take that one. I like the yellow and green. That's the end of the line. Yeah, look at that one. It's gonna have some color. Ooh, look at that one. Look how red that one is. Ooh, it's got some nice quartz lines in it too. Whoa, look at that guy. That is cool pattern. Yep. Yeah. Not really into this color, but I do like the patterns. Oh wow. That's a large uh, piece of jasper there. Huh. Anybody want to help me get this one out? Oh yeah, coming in quick. Alright everyone, well, this has been a great beach. Uh, if you ever get around the Otter Point or the uh, Gold Beach area and you want to check out Otter Point, definitely there's some great Jasper down here. Found a lot of it today. Didn't really find any beach agates. Uh, I was more looking for the for some really nice colored jasper to put on a bigger saw. But you know, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the adventure here. Hope you liked what you saw. If you did have a good time, maybe uh, share the video with a friend. Um, maybe subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, this is what I took. Look forward to getting it to the shop.